everyone, welcome to Leading Ladies, Leaving Legacies, Living Legacies. Tonight, like every Wednesday night, we bring you a leading lady who's going to share her journey with you. And tonight we're going to talk about mind, body, and spirit, and ideas for women that's all about self-care. Our guest tonight, Shira Sojewski, love her name, have an issue with it. I'm going to ask her to pronounce it for you. But I want you to tune in to all of this information, tips and tools that she's going to share with her, us about her journey, what she's a bit about, why she loves what she's doing. And I want you to make note of her name and her email and to touch base with her because she has lots of good information. We can only cover so much in a short half hour. One of the reasons that she's here, Shira, I love her name, is that she was born in New York, but she was raised in Broward County. Well, those of you who know me, you know that I love New York City. I wasn't born and raised in New York City, but New York City is my home. It's my heartbeat. So I love New Yorkers. I might be an exceptional person there because most people don't have good things to say about New York people, but I do because I know the energy of New York and I love it. So let's say hello and let's welcome Shara. How are you? And welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm absolutely excited to be, you know, with you today and um, just looking forward to everything. Well, you're no more excited than I am, my dear, because I am always interested in women who are about doing things for other women that help them on their journey because aren't we all on a journey? Oh, Some more than us, you know. Yes, indeed. And I know about yours, so you'll, you'll share it a be wee bit with us. I don't. I used to start out going over bios, but I don't do that anymore, except to tell them that you were born in New York. But yeah. tell us a little bit about the work that you're doing now, and then we'll go from there. Let's just start off with why you're doing the work that you're doing now and why you love it so much. Well, to be honest with you, I'm just a straight-up nurturer right off the bat. I'm, I'm a mom, and I just love to help people and help them find their passion and what they're excited about doing. I love to heal people, and I love to put a smile on someone's face, just even if they're having a bad day. The lady at uh, Publix that is just having a rough day, and I walk up to her and go, you know, did you see, you know, that movie about X, Y, and Z, and just to get you know a joke out of them and make them smile is, is just my my joy in life is to you know change people's attitudes. I, I I hear you, and I love what you said. But I want to come in here, and I don't do this, but I'm doing it because I know you and you know me, and I have heard this too many times. And I know that you're all about self care, and I know you have three beautiful, gifted, talented kids. I know. We'll speak a little bit about that. But you know what you said, Shira. And by the way, I want you to pr pronounce your last name for us. I think I did a good job, but make sure. <laughs> Slajewski. Slajewski. I love that. One of the things that you have said tonight, and I've heard several other women say it who come on this show, is I'm just a mother. I'm just a housewife. Oh, no. You, you're not just. You're much more. Yeah. Much, much more. Because I think to be a mother and a housewife, is probably the biggest and gravest responsibility that we all have in life. Yes. Definitely. And that, that molding a mind and a body and a spirit and the essence of a person is better than any corporate CEO, CFO could ever be. Now tell us a little bit more about how you came to do what you're doing and why you love it. Well, I've always, my background of my parents was my mom was a nurse. So I love the idea of taking care of people. I love the idea of if somebody doesn't have a resource, I love to find that resource for them. So it was a natural uh, progression for me to go into massage therapy because it's all about making the body feel better. Yes. And where I've come about now is connecting the mind body all in one. Yes. I love it. I love it because I don't care where we are at our station in life. We all need to balance out our mind, body, and spirit. And to, you know what? It, for me, Shira, at this stage in time in my life, with my husband's health not being what it should, I realize how I always knew, but I realize more than ever how important your health is. Take yeah. care of your body, your mind, your body, your yeah. spirit. And that's what you're doing. Now, did you? I heard you say your mother was a nurse 
and you have your massage therapist now. Yeah. Were, did you did you come to this because you are a nurturer and you just liked it and you found that you you liked working with the body? How how because something motivated you to start doing that. Well, I think in in high school I had locked a, you know looked into the path of being a physical therapist. And uh -huh. to go along that path is almost as much schooling as a, as a physician. And then um, I looked into massage therapy, and six months sounded a lot better than six years. And it was physical therapy was was healing, but not as much as I like to touch. So um, the healing touch is more of what interested me, and the energy that is put into into the healing through your hands was more intriguing to me than just medicine. I, I find what you just said interesting because I don't know, we all come to different things in different ways at different times. And for me, the hands have always been powerful and very expressive because you said that you, you found that the touching, the kneading and kneeling, whatever, that that was important. And you got a lot out of that. Do you feel that you have a certain amount of power or some type of special gift in your hands or it's just the connection with the body and the skin that you're transferring some type of energy what what can you share more with us about that when it comes to massage therapists well for me personally I know that I have the nurturing healing going through my hands as it is uh, whether the person is going to receive that or not is a different story you know you have to be able to receive healing you know, just like people receive love and gifts and all that, you have to be able to receive it. So if you blocked off wanting to be able to be healed and nurtured, then I'm not doing any good. So I try to do a relaxation technique before I even put my hands on you to get you to relax and, and receive. I love that because that's the first time I've heard someone mention it that way. You can give it out, but if the person is, re is not receptive, to yeah. receiving it, that's a different story. And that goes into, and I like what you just said about you go into meditation and a, a means of connecting with the person. Tell yeah. us a little bit about how you do that. Well, I start off with a, a usually a five minute breathing technique that's even before I put my hands on you of trying to relax your mind as well as breathing along with just trying to, if someone comes to me and they're so stressed out from what they've done in the morning mm -hmm. or they've had a stressful night of not sleeping, me touching them and the electricity and the energy is going to be is going to repel is going to repel everything that I'm trying to do. So mm -hmm. if we don't get the mind to calm down, we're never going to be able to get the, the body to calm down and get those muscles to relax and release. That's interesting. You know why? Because it's only for me at this stage that I'm aware of. I'd heard it before, but now I know most people really feel that the mind rules, and oh, yeah. in sense it does. But the heart, being able to be quiet and, and meditate and get into the core of who you are and why you are. Letting right. the mind connect with the heart is mm -hmm. where you get your true bliss. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now, when you do meditations, what type of meditations are you doing? How it's, do you connect with people in that regard? Well, it's a guided meditation where it's, it's an actual audio that is guiding you through a, whether it's a beach scene or, or a calming kind of thing, and it's a voice activated kind of scenario where really all your eyes are closed, so once you take away your sight, your hearing intensifies. So that, is, and alone, you know, whether it's the sound of oceans with the voice taking you, uh, you know, a stroll down the beach or something like that, of just five minutes of deep breathing you know, only being conscious about your breath. You can't think about anything else when you've got your, you know, your heightened uh, hearing going. Mm. How do you get someone who is so tight and so stressed that they can't receive and be receptive? How do you work with that type of persona, that personality? Because that person is more dire in need of your services. Oh, absolutely than someone else and yet they're not they're there but they can't open to you so other than the meditation and the guided what how else do you embrace them i can suggest some essential oils that will relax them as well whether it's uh, lavender or cam, you know chamomile um there's also tech breathing techniques they can do in the car or at home 
Um, there's only so much of a realm that I can actually handle that if it is something that is, is that intense, mm -hmm. I, I would have to refer them to a therapist or actually hypnotherapist that I am in uh, collaboration with. There, you know, I, I can only do so much. You know, and I, I like the word that you use because no matter what we're doing, all of us, you have to have joint ventures, collaborations with other people because there, there are lots of things that you're not going to be able to do. You're not going to be able to connect with everyone. You might meet someone that really needs your service, but for whatever the reason, you don't have that connection with them. So Absolutely. you're being the wise person that you are, you connect them with someone else. So you get a circle and a tribe of people who do the same thing that you do, maybe in a different way and all of that. And that makes collaborations are really, really important. They make a big, big deal. Tell us a little bit about, because the buzzword now, Shira, is CBD oil. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's everywhere. So it tell us how you came to that and what you are absolutely ecstatic and, and more than in love with and the difference that it's made for you and for others that you've seen. Well, the difference in me is, is, is the fact that I use it as well for uh, internally for pain and relaxation but as far as massaging and using it it just working smarter not harder on myself that that CBD oil is actually able to reduce inflammation and increase circulation and relax the body a lot easier than if I'm going into a tight muscle right away so it literally is doing more of the work for me than my own hands it's, ah. Yeah, so uh -huh. it's 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 like just great. Huh. What an amazing what an amazing gift that was given to us by this earth is this this plant that gives us this power to give us benefits that no one ever even knew. And yes, yeah, CBD oil that that is a catch phrase that everybody's yes. going to. Yeah, people really need to be do their research on what they're getting. You're getting stuff off of Amazon, or you're getting stuff you don't know what you're getting. Well, that's that's something that can be a hidden whatever for a lot of people. Right. How many different CBD oils are there and, and how does one get to the discovery of the right one for them? It's like everything else. There's so many different brands and names and types. How did you come to select the CBD oil that you're working with? Well, I'm actually, I haven't, I'm working with three companies right now and I haven't narrowed down which one I'm actually ah. um, in the foremost front. I deal with, uh, I speak to owners of these companies. I'm not dealing with these corporations and they are, they are manufacturing it themselves. They're growing up themselves in the states that are, it is legal. Uh, I'm learning about the process of the, that they use to make it. Uh, there, are, there's different strengths. And there are different additives that people add to them. So you really have to do your research and, and what, are you, what are you actually trying to uh, achieve with the CBD oil? Well, you use one of my favorite words, even in the work that I do as a professional speaker and as an image consultant. I always tell people, do your research. Yeah. Because there's just so much out here. And come with your questions. Yeah. Because hopefully I am the right person for you, but maybe not. But exactly. when you get into the research and you get not beyond the layman's understanding, then you'll have more of a clue about what works best for you. Well, it's very, very confusing too, because I mean, exactly. you can, I mean, CBD oil comes in, let's say gummies. On a package, it might say a thousand milligrams. Well, is that one gummy or is that the whole bag? So you really need to figure out, you know, and there's, there's ranges from 500 milligrams all the way to, you know, 2,500. So you, yeah, it, it's very confusing and it's, it's, it's tough. Well, okay, you use a, a terminology of verbiage there that I'm not. What's a gummy? What's a, a gummy? gummy bear, like a gummy bear or a gummy oh, candy? Okay. <laughs> you mean it comes in so many different varieties? Yeah. So many yeah. Different, ah, okay. You can, yeah, I mean, you literally can take uh, CBD oil itself and make your own cookies or make. And the, what the thing people don't know about CBD oil is it's there's CBD oil and there's also THC. THC is the medical marijuana component that gives you the body high and the euphoric feeling. CBD does not do any of that. It just relaxes and reduces inflammation. You're not gonna get high. You're just gonna take the benefits of the part of the flower. 
And well, people don't know that. And because people hear that and they get scared, they don't know what it is. Absolutely, I would think so. But as a massage therapist, are you allowed to use the ladder? That's uh, the THC. No, that is no. illegal. So but that THC oil right. is. I mean, you literally can get it off of Amazon. That's what's so scary about it. But um, THC is either uh, medical marijuana, uh, where you have to go to a doctor and get a prescription, or you know, it's not legal. How were you introduced to, you are a massage therapist, so who brought, <laughs> the, who brought the CBD oil to you and how were you initially introduced to it? And, and what, got, I mean, you saw the results obviously, but how did you get enthused and excited over it and what it does? That's actually a funny story. I was from the generation of, um, you know, I never touched anything. I've never smoked a cigarette. I've never done any recreational drugs, never uh -huh. did anything. I was, I guess, a goody-goody. I don't know. But I was in Vegas a couple of years back, and marijuana is legal there. Yes. And I was saying to myself, when in Vegas, do as the Vegasans do. And I tried a little bit of it, and I was in no pain. I had a sense of relaxation that was just, everything's going to be okay. And I came back and I literally got my medical marijuana card, but that's not for everybody. Yes. Whereas the CBD oil has different components and benefits that are legal where you don't have to, you know, seek out the, the prescription. But so that's that got me interested. Well, that's a good story. And that's a good way of sharing with people uh, the way that you did it and the way that you're expressing that your entry into the discovery and what it did for you. Because I think all of us are looking for the Holy Grail. And, and I was the biggest skeptic too. I'm sure. I'm oh, sure. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like what you said, Shira, because you said loud and clear and it was no one could miss it, that you are now doing your own research and doing your own investigation of three different companies before you decide on which one or maybe more that you want to deal with. I think that's very, very smart. That's very, very good of you to be able to do that. How did you, what, what is a resource when it comes to CBD oil and as a massage therapist, what is something that you can share with us that most people don't know that might inspire them to look more into self-care and taking care of their mind, body, and spirit more than they're doing at this point in time? Well, I, I think as, as women and as a mom, that yes. we are the last ones that take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. right? We always put our kids first. We always put our, everyone else first. Mm -hmm. And I posted a saying on Facebook just the other day, self-care is not selfish. If you don't take care of yourself, nobody else will. And you are no good to anybody else. So if true. you are not, you know, moms can, and women can get colds and we still function. But if we don't take care of our mind and our bodies, we are no good of a role model to our children, to people in our, our community. So we really need to take care of ourselves, whether it's, you know, getting a massage, getting a pedicure, getting a haircut, yeah, taking yeah. yourself and putting your feet in the sand of the ocean. Something so, so simple. I oh, so, I don't have the five minutes. I don't have this. Yeah, but yeah. Your, your spouse can take a Sunday and watch four hours of football. Yes, yes. Let me ask you this, because I, first off, I, without question, realize the value of a good massage therapist and what you do. Is there any kind of a, a package or a plan, or do you have, do you, ask people to come to you at least one to three times before they make a final decision. How do you work with, do you, how do you engage people to come back to you more often so they get the full benefits of what you're offering them? Well, first of all, I'm strictly a, a mobile uh, massage therapist. I come to you okay. and I strictly are on a, either I know you or someone's referred you to me. I don't want to deal with anybody that is a stranger. So, um, the first initial visit is is that consultation of what are you looking to get out of this, and if it's a one time fix, that that you know if you haven't if your lifestyle is what's got your muscles all tense and, and and your mind all tense, then we need to look at your lifestyle and see what it is that is making you so tense, because it'll be a vicious cycle. If work is stressing you out, if work is stressing you out, we need to figure out what is going to 
change that, whether it is the meditation or something else, so you're not coming into me like this every every week, you know, and I'm making it easier on yourself every time you come in. You know, it shouldn't shouldn't be like that. No, by no means. Let me ask you this, and I don't know if you have an answer, but I ask anyway. We know that all of us have different issues and concerns that we deal with daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. What are the three main, if you can categorize them, reasons that people go to a massage therapist outside of the la la kind of stuff? What are the three main reasons that someone would come and want a, a session with someone like you? Well, first of all, if they've been injured or had a muscle strain. Ah, muscle strain. You know, mm -hmm. injured will send you, you know, first of all, most of the people will just run to a doctor to get a pain med, whereas this is actually, you know, a pain med is only a Band-Aid. You know, mm -hmm. a cramp in a muscle, you need to work it out. You can't just take a pain med and have it go away. You mm -hmm. know, that doesn't get out by itself. Right. That is just, you know, one of the, you know, you get someone that's a, a pro athlete or even just a swimmer. Just keeping those muscles loose are actually going to make perform better. Yes. And be more effective. Mm -hmm. The one hour to yourself is the biggest benefit of all. If you've got kids, if you're working full time, mm -hmm. that one hour to yourself of being able to just relax of nothing but you is, is worth every, you know, there's not a glass of wine that can do that for you. I you agree. I completely agree from sessions that I've had. Let me ask you, you mentioned joint ventures, and uh, not so much, but coll collaborations. Do you or are you working closely with chiropractors? I would think that there would be a good tie-in for you there. Or yeah. is it, it depends on the chiropractor as everything. It does. really depends on the chiropractor. I have to tell you, when I first got my license back in the 90s, um, I would call chiropractors. I was young, so I was looking for a job. And I said, do you use massage therapy before you do adjustments? They're like, no, why would we do that? I'm like, well, if the muscles are tight and they're, that's what's pulling the spine out of, out of alignment, why would you not work the muscles and relax them? He just said, hmm, I never thought of that. And I was like, this is a, a chiropractic <laughs> physician learning something from 19-year-old me saying, if the muscles are torquing the bone out of alignment, you need to relax them on a, on a daily basis, you know, on a weekly basis. Yes. So um, working with chiropractors, I, I found is, you know, they're either old school and don't believe in it, or they're definitely fully on board. Yeah, I, I can connect and relate to that. And I say this because for numerous reasons, my schooling, my background, uh, doctors were gods, no longer. And today, holistic and all the other areas that we can get involved with, there's so many other ways and means to stay and keep a healthy mind, body, and spirit. Oh, absolutely. And the work that you do is, is really to be valued more than it is. But I think it's coming more into the mainstream because of – of all of the things that people are beginning to discover about health and wellness. And I like what you say about women because we as women, we are the caretakers, no matter how you look upon it. They are. And, and we put others before ourselves. So we need that hour a week, hour every other week, however it works out, just to totally, the word that I'm beginning to load, but to chill and just to relax and let everything go. Mm -hmm. Because we need that therapy for ourselves. And right. that's, I applaud the work that you're doing. I yeah. asked once before, but time flies here. Is there any oh, yeah. resource that you could recommend or any particular? I, I'm, by the way, I'm going to make sure that I put up your, you don't have a website, I understand, but you have your email. Yeah. And people can connect with you via Absolutely. the email if they have an interest there. Yeah. How, how do you market and get, you said word of mouth and friends and so on, recommend you and you won't go. And I understand that. Right. Yeah. without that recommendation but you also want to make sure that you're marketing where people get to you oh, absolutely so is there any particular something that you want to leave us with as far as why you're doing and and what someone can do or how someone can avail themselves and and be fully invested in doing a good session with someone like you where it's therapeutic and healthy and all that other good stuff is there anything at all that you could 
share as a last resource that people could come to you and or anyone else if they're hesitating for whatever reason what are the last parting words that you want to leave them with just enjoy life no expectations you heal from the inside out and use your use what god gave us don't you know don't try to fix things with medicine Use what, what we were given as far as, you know, our hands and the plants that the, the earth gives us, you know, and go with your instinct with what makes you feel good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And I like what you said at the very beginning, too, because I do believe that hands are a healing source. Mm -hmm. And I think energy emanates through and uh, through the hand. Mm -hmm. And a good massage therapist and any other work where the hands are used, I think that can be very vital and very useful. I thank you for being here. Time oh, thank you. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. We had our little hiccup in the beginning, but we both yes. got through it. And yes. here we are. I'm going to ask you to just step to the staging room, they call it. I call it the green room. And just wait there for a minute while I say so long to the audience, and I'll be with you in just a second or two. And thanks thank again. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my friend, the time does fly here, but that's okay. It's good because we always leave you with good information. I love all of the things that Shira shared with us. There is no way or there's nothing better than taking an hour a week, every other week for yourself to have your mind, body, and spirit connect. And however you do that and a good way to do it, because I've been here and I know, not, not with Shira, but through mas massage therapists, I know how vital and essential it can be and how like when it's done right, and it's therapeutic in the best way. You're like almost like a dish rag after, but you feel so good. You're like revitalized in a way. So if you're familiar or not familiar, make a note to get her email, which I had going across the screen constantly, and connect with her because you won't regret it. I know her from years ago, and I know that she's totally invested in taking care of people, mind, body, and spirit, and giving them the best that she can offer. And you, Relationships. Relationships are everything. She mentioned collaborations. I talk about collaborations and joint ventures. If you want to know how you communicate and the best communicating style that you have, drop key in, the, in here. And then what we'll do is send you a quiz that you will find out what your communication style is and you'll get a glimpse of what the other three styles are. And it'll give you a handle on how you are best able to serve other people because that's what you're about whether it's a product or a service it's always good to be with you i know it's not the best time but i enjoy looking out and seeing that you're here hello eloisa always good to see you here i have my loyal and faithful and a lot of people who come for the replay you take care of you first as shira said do the very best that you can and get help if you need it and know that taking care of you as shira said is not selfish it's the best thing that you can do for you because then you'll be able to look after others you be well and take care have a great week have a great weekend and we'll look forward to seeing you again next week same time same station all the best so long for now cheers